What? <laughs> Amusement parks are known for their thrills. The one in southern West Virginia is known for its chills. Tonight, we take you inside of Mercer County's abandoned Lake Shawnee Amusement Park that's sure to send shivers down your spine. Three of the Clay children were brutally murdered by Native Americans. They find him at 7 p.m. that night in the bottom of the pond with his arm stuck in a drain pipe. We let the land do what it wants to do. There are over 3,000 people buried here. Come through and speak with us tonight. An image of a spirit captured in this window right here. Stroke. It's alerting on the red. There's something standing right there. Who is on the school bus? The kids. Alex, thank you. Here we are, Lake Shawnee. You see that clown right there? This place is huge, man. I mean, this is literally one of the most famous haunted places in America. It's supposed to be one of the scariest, too. Wow, look at that Ferris wheel. It is creepy, man. <laughs> and a giant skull right there. <laughs> yeah, this, uh, this isn't creepy at all. My name is Chris White. I am the keeper of Lake Shawnee. We are at Lake Shawnee Abandoned Amusement Park. It was built in 1926. So I want to tell you the story about the boy that drowned in the pond in 1966. So this is a cement swimming pond. And the story goes, in 1966, the mother dropped her son off that morning. She returned in time for the lifeguard to blow the 5 o'clock whistle that evening. Her son's nowhere to be found. She thinks that he walked home. She goes to the house. He's not there. She comes back to Lake Shawnee. They find him at 7 p.m. that night in the bottom of the pond with his arm stuck in a drain pipe. So according to the paranormal investigators that comes here, he hangs out at the front gate where the clown's mouth is. They think it's cute that this boy has took it up on himself keeping this park safe, but he watches everybody coming and going and makes sure everything is safe. So this is where he would have died? Yes. Right here. Okay, anything right. else? So the history of Lake Shawnee is the Native Americans lived here in the woodland period. The woodland periods, whenever they hunted with spears, bow and arrows wasn't invented yet. That started in 500 BC. They lived here all the way up to the 1700s. Now the English settlers came here and the first English settler in Mercer County settled on this piece of property. The Mitchell Clay was his name. He raised his family here they had some tragedy happen to them, so they ended up moving away. And then in 1926, Conley Snydo bought this property. He opened it up as a museum park, and he ran it from 1926 to 1966. My father worked here when he's younger, so whenever it closed in 66, his dream was to buy Lake Shawnee. So in 1985, with the help of aunts, uncles, family, everybody pitched in together, we bought Lake Shawnee and opened it back up as a amusement park, and we ran it till 1988, and then it closed again. And it's been closed ever since. And it's been closed ever since. And nowadays, we just follow the land. We let it do what it wants to do. So this is the Native American burial grounds. We know the Native Americans lived here prehistoric. They lived here in the woodland period. We feel that all the bodies here and the spirits here are good because you have Native Americans and you have children that passed in the park. We don't feel that there's any bad here whatsoever. We call the Shawnee Chief and ask them what could we put out here to mark the burial grounds because years ago there was nothing here just a field that we cut hay off of. So their comment was, whatever you put on your burial grounds, I don't think a headstone's appropriate for these guys. I think it needs to be something of their time. So we didn't order a headstone. A few days later, we're out digging and we find a rock. We put the rock out here to mark their spot because to us, it's pointing toward the heavens. We thought it was respectful. The first year it sits out here, it sinks down in the ground three feet and it turns into something different. Can you guys see what it is? So to me, it is a Native American. Here's a nose, here's eyes, here's a mouth, 
This is a headdress. We think it's strange that it turned into a Native American the first year it was here. So now it's not temporary. We put it out here temporary. But no, it's permanent. So here we let the land do what it wants to do. I can totally see it, by the way. Yeah. Wow. So you, you got to piece that together. I've never oh, told this wow. story. So Lake Shawnee has a very interesting history. So obviously there's indigenous history there. What the owner was telling us that he didn't really want to talk about on camera was the fact that years ago they used to do mud races and different events over in the field on the Lake Shawnee property. And one day during one of these events, they unearthed a bone. Now when an archeological team was sent out to survey the land, they unearthed over a hundred skeletons right there on the property. And the crazy part about all this is that the government saw all of this. The government saw these bodies that were unearthed and they shut the thing down basically. There was no more interest. But it's been estimated by scientists and scholars from the university that's nearby that there are over 3,000 bodies buried there near that abandoned amusement park. I'm telling you, 3,000 bodies. That is hard to fathom. That is bodies stacked on top of each other in the ground. And up until recently, they didn't really know that those bodies were there. And all of that history is obviously very old. Sadly, the tribe, the Shawnee, who the burial ground is basically attributed to, they got removed from the area and sent along the Trail of Tears, relocated to Oklahoma. It's a very tragic story that you see repeated throughout American history. But Later on, Lake Shawnee actually became an amusement park. They had a fake lake there, they had swimming, boating, but the place was the scene of a number of tragic accidents. In one instance, a child took a large fall to the head and died after, after cracking their skull on the pavement near the cement pool. Then there was another child who was swimming with their parents in that same cement pool area who drowned and the parents didn't know what happened to their kid until a few minutes later while they were wading through the water and they bumped their child's body floating beneath the dark waves. Then there's the little girl who was killed while she was on the swing. One of the attractions at Lake Shawnee, innocent young child taken from this world in an instant. There's also a history of murder at Lake Shawnee. There were two children that were killed by indigenous tribesmen. One day, the kids were playing out in the field. Their mother was inside of their cabin with their other children. And two tribesmen came and started attacking the kids and unfortunately murdered two of those young children. They actually took the third boy hostage and brought him to another state. A search party was organized. They eventually were able to track down the people who had taken the boy. But when they got there, it was too late and the child was being burned alive at the stake. And that kid's body was then brought back and buried at Lake Shawnee along with his other two siblings. Their bodies are still there. It's absolutely insane. I mean, you have accidents like the swing accident. You have drowning, some in suspicious circumstances where people reported seeing people being pulled under the waves almost by a phantom force. You have the three bodies that are buried here on the property from children who were murdered. And then you have the 3,000 indigenous folks who are buried there on the property as well. I mean, if a place was going to be haunted, Lake Shawnee definitely would be that place. And that's why we felt it was so important for us to come investigate this property. It's been on my bucket list since I was like eight years old. I've always known about Lake Shawnee, but I've never visited, well, until now. And let me tell you, the place does not disappoint. I can confidently say that Lake Shawnee is haunted. Lake Shawnee was extremely cold that night. Some of the most uh, creepy surroundings I'd been around. Very, very eerily quiet a lot of the times. And uh, as you'll see in the film, a lot of the things like the Ferris wheel and the swing set had a high, high creep factor. And I just felt like it was very, just a really unique location that we've really ever experienced on the channel so far. So obviously our tour here was very short. There are just so many things that we're gonna cover in this documentary. Like we've already said before, we're here at Lake Shawnee, um, the infamous abandoned amusement park known across the world as one of the most haunted places on the planet. You can look up any list of the scariest places in America. This place is always on those lists. Something that 
is commonly talked about when it comes to Lake Shawnee is the fact that there are indigenous burial grounds in the area. If we come back right here, like he was explaining a few minutes ago, this is a memorial that they've erected here for the indigenous folks that are buried. At the beginning, when you hear that there are, there's a burial ground here, you might think a hundred people, even 50, 200. Take a look over here, if you want to pan that direction. This field, it's estimated that there are over 3,000 people buried here. That is an absolutely staggering number. And they've only dug up about a hundred of the, the bodies that are interred here in this earth. Yeah, it's crazy. They estimate that these corpses are literally all across this field right here. They don't know how many people are buried here, but to start off tonight's investigation, we've got some tobacco and we're going to sprinkle it as an offering to the indigenous people that are buried here to see if they'll come out or at least allow us to investigate tonight. We're coming here with the utmost respect and in fairness, we're really gonna be focusing over there at the amusement park where, as you're gonna find out in a second, a number, like I'm talking eight, 10 children died in horrific ways. There was also an, an antiquated murder, a murder that happened a long time ago that was brutal and yeah, the, we're gonna be getting into some dark history tonight. But first of all, I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying right now, but to any Shawnee people or any people from other tribes, we are coming and we thank you for allowing us to visit your land. We are offering this as an offering to you. If you could come through and speak with us tonight, we would be very grateful, and we're coming with respect and love. Okay, as Colin said, this is some tobacco that is obviously respectful for all the Native Americans that are here in spirit, here interred, and uh, this is just out of respect. If you could communicate with us tonight, come over to the amusement park. We'd love to tell your story. With all due respect, may you rest in peace. I'm gonna throw some out in the grass. Make it kind of a circle. All right, everybody, it's now that time. Let's head over to the amusement park where <laughs> I have a feeling things are about to get wild. There's, yeah, there's a lot going on here. So to begin the video, we sprinkled some tobacco as a, uh, as an offering to the indigenous people that are buried there. We wanna be very respectful of their land and their practices, their customs. We are coming only with love, light, and peace. Since the place is so big, I mean, you have a haunted house, you have the clown that a little child's ghost supposedly hangs out around. You have the cemetery of 3,000 individuals. You have the three bodies that are buried in the swamp area, not to mention the actual lake area and the amusement park. I mean, it's like a, it's unbelievably large, but we wanted to sit down and do an Estes session to start off the investigation because maybe we could get the spirit, whoever was out that night who wanted to talk to us, to tell us where they wanted us to go. And uh, thankfully, we seem to have gotten an answer. We've got some electrical disturbances going on already. Yeah, literally right after we got into the car, I was trying to record on this phone, and my oh, phone. Yeah. Yeah, my phone was glitching out, so we had to film this on his phone. And now the brights on your car aren't working immediately. It's just weird. Oh, well, yeah, they don't go on. Yeah, I'm filming it through this. I have to hold them on manually. That's weird. Huh. Okay. So we're entering now into the Lake Shawnee amusement park area. We're going to talk about some of the deaths and murders that have happened here as we explore throughout the night. Honest opinions, this place is freaky. Like you can feel the energy in this area. Way out in the middle of nowhere in West Virginia. It's just an abandoned theme park with a very dark history. Also, it's like 35 degrees out tonight. It, it really honestly feels like 10 to me. Yeah, it's, it's like really, freezing cold. It's like a wet cold. It's, so this is uh, the place really looks like the set of a horror film. Wouldn't yeah. you agree? Oh yeah. All this stuff I mean, that's around here. Yeah. I kind of feel like 
Yeah. Horror, American Horror Story. Oh, yeah. This Freak could, Show? Yeah, this could be a, a good set for that. Oh, God. Okay, here we are. So, this uh, creepy clown thing right here, Yeah. this is actually where one of the child spirits, the spirit of a child who drowned in the lake, the uh, owner told us that this little boy's spirit hangs out here in the mouth of the clown. Like Shawnee. We're the only ones here tonight. God, that is so creepy. That RV Isn't over there, creepy RV. Did some dude spend like a month in there or something like that? Yeah. Haunted yeah, this is, this is a haunted house okay. that they run in the fall. And we're gonna investigate that area tonight because oh, he said gosh. it's really heavy in there. Okay. Now this is kind of also where you cross a threshold almost in the vibe. It's just so eerie rolling up to a haunted location and there's a giant clown to greet you. There's can you see? a giant skull with glowing red skull. eyes. If you can see through here, these lights, that's the amusement park across the lake. So, here we are. I think we're good. Here's the lake. Look at this. Yep, we're right. Oh, oh look at that man. mist on the lake. Oh, you see that? Oh, that is creepy, dude. Well, guys, that's... we're completely alone here. So, mm -hmm. it's about, it's 10 o'clock exactly. We're going to get our stuff out and, uh, begin investigating and like I said this episode's going to be a little different we're going to be explaining the history throughout the video as we visit locations but two Estes sessions we're going to split up we got a big night and some big frights ahead it's been a long day already you know what <laughs> the scariest part for me is no take a guess the shit you're going to take later no seeing this face with no hair. <laughs> I look like a giant kimono dragon, is what I decided. Kind of a lizard. Yeah, can we get a thumbs up in the chat for Jeff's shaved face? Papa Spooks, let's show him some love, everybody. <laughs> okay, uh, here we go. Okay. okay, so to start out our night here at Lake Shawnee, everybody, we're gonna do something different. We're gonna start with an Estes session because this property is massive. There's the creepy trail back there where there are literal bodies buried from murder victims. There's the amusement park where multiple children died. There's a cement pond where there was, I think, four or five drownings. Somebody reported even being pulled under the water by an unknown force. There's the haunted house, which the owner said is a very scary place. And there's also the indigenous burial ground with 3,000 bodies. But follow me over here. Look at this. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, that feels nice. Much needed. It's like 32 degrees, 33 right now. It's really cold. But it, it feels literally to me like 10. Yeah, we're right next to I don't know why, a body of water, so it's just naturally colder. We built this fire so we're warm. But I wanted to show you this. This is a Tri-Field Natural EM meter. This is definitely more of a scientific tool than a paranormal tool. This gives you actual readings of kind of the electricity in the environment, the EM and the magnetic values. So it's basically breaking down the different readings that go into an EMF meter. But I was testing it out earlier, check this out. So this is just showing us the magnetic energy in the area which spirits are said to be able to use and that spirits also give off. And check this out. Look at that. It's like a giant fluctuating level of magnetic energy. It's obviously very slight. Throughout this area, I was walking around and there's spots that are spiking and then they don't spike. And the needle just like over here. For me earlier, it was just hopping up and down. Like right here. Look at that. There's some sort of a field right here. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? Oh. And let's turn on the electric. Typically people would go to the sum, so we're gonna try out the sum. So check this out. Let's walk over here. Look at this thing. You can hear it. I mean, it's just jumping. There's so many fluctuations around here. This creepy old school bus. This is where the picture of that uh, little boy was. A lot of the things that are here were brought here 
you know, during the, the amusement park years and afterwards. I don't know the full history of this school bus, but the owner was telling us and he showed us the photo. We don't have the license, he used the photo, but there was a, an image of a spirit captured in this window right here. So let's just check this out before we start the Estes. It's interesting to show people that it's more scientific than paranormal with this thing. There's something weird going on. Yeah. Look at this thing. Oh, jeez. Now keep in mind, we're in a school bus on an abandoned property, so this should not be spiking like this. Here's a photo. What would, what would that be? No. There's also randomly sitting here. Look at this. Oh, cassette tapes. I wonder what would be on these. Look at things. all these cassette tapes here. It really makes you wonder, oh, yeah, like, does, what would it? be on this if you? Oh, look at this thing tweaking out. It's just weird. It's an interesting experiment to show that I don't know exactly what would be causing this, but there is some sort of electric and magnetic field here. It just shows that the spirits have some sort of a uh, battery almost to pull from, let alone the springs that are flowing around here. There's eight of them that the owners found. Twelve. Yeah, there's supposed to be 12 springs that flow into that lake, but he's found eight of the 12. Eight but that's 12. a lot of yeah. moving water, True. you know? Paranormal theories talking about rivers and lakes. Right, right. So, let's just ask. Yeah. Is there anybody in here with us? If you are, could you make a noise? Any kind of a noise? Was that you? Uh-uh. It's not me. What was that? That was like a growl. It was like I don't want to say a growl. Oh, shit, listen. Yeah, I mean it was something like a. Did you actually just hear that? Yeah, yeah. Or am that, I going yeah, no, crazy? No, no, that was a. It was like, like a squeak, maybe. Uh, like a squeak yeah. or something. I felt like it came from like right here, like in front of us, but it's very quiet. Could you do that again if that was you? Thank you. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah, and there's a car, a little car right there. Yeah. So definitely, you know, toys being laid around. We're gonna, we're gonna leave uh, for now, but any other sign you can give us that you're here, I think you made that sound for us, thank you. This was meant to just be a little experiment, but that sound was like yeah, that was very a, clear, whatever that was. I, you have to listen back, but it sounded to me like kind of a, a hinge or yeah it was like like i don't like a, you know <sighs> that, that cool. bus is eerie in there if you're in that bus feel free to follow us over yeah. if you see the fire anybody on this property feel free to follow us if you see that fire over there show us in the window show yourself too if you want come speak with me all we want to do is talk we don't want to hurt you and we'll talk nice and calmly we just want to figure out who you are and I think now it's time to start. Okay, everybody, so to begin tonight's investigation, we're here in the main, I don't know what you would call this, the, the picnic area. Yeah. The amusement park's over there, indigenous mounds over there, bus over there. Um, we've set this area up heavily with equipment. We've got a camera there, camera there. Got a lot of equipment set up, but for now, I, I'm gonna sit here in the old Ferris wheel. What would you call this? Cart? Uh, that's the, yeah, car. Car. And we're gonna do an Estes and see if we can get the spirits. And on this particular car, on film before they had that bar moved up way yep. up on its own. Yeah, I forgot about that. But we're gonna hop right in. Jeff's gonna ask the questions. We're gonna try to figure out where the spirits want us to go in this park. Do you hear that? Like a coyote. That scream kind of like? Yeah. That sounds like a coyote. I don't know. It's coming from that way by the amusement park. That, what the fuck is that? 
Oh, okay, this is the... <laughs> it's the fire. Okay, let's... What is that? Is that a coyote? It sounds like it to me. Coyotes. Okay, so... Are these... These are working? Yep. yep. Okay, they are. Here we go. Steve. Okay. So, Steve. Where do you... Steve, where are you? Oh, hold up. Before we start this experiment, I forgot. I want to introduce myself. My name's Colin. I'm here with my dad. I'm Jeff. And um, we really don't want you to be afraid of us. We know that you're not scary. If you're a kid, I love kids. And um, yeah, if you need someone to play games with, we brought you some toys and we're super happy to be here to talk to you. So just come out and let's hang out. Let's have some fun. We can play with some toys in a bit. If you come talk to me, I've got a gift for you. That is a creepy sound, man. I hope they're not over on the creepy trail where I want to go. <laughs> we're okay. Okay, so we're, we're ready to roll here, so... Take a walk. <clears throat> okay, where at? Where do you want us to go then? Take a walk to where? Both of you. But where? Where do you want us to go? It's cool, but... Okay, so what, what's in the school bus? Walk! <laughs> Walk! But what is in the school bus that you want us to see? You? Frau line. Frau line is... Get out! German, okay. My sister. Okay, is the Frau line... She's the, over there. On the bus, okay. What is she doing? Does she live there? Push me. Oh, that's really weird how much that's popping over there. Um, where else? I heard that. Wow, okay. You heard that popping, huh? Diesel. It does kind of smell like something. There's a bad man. Okay, well, we're not going to go down that path again. Incidents. Okay, let's go back to the school bus. What's your no. name? Why not? There's something. Okay, but... It's ironic. Is it... Okay, who is on the school bus? The kids. Is there anybody else on there other than the kids? I'm not... The bus. Okay, yes, I know. You said the kids are on the bus. Is there anybody else on Lots the bus? Lots of them. Yep. Sad one. Hmm. I'm hearing so many voices. Was that the boy in the window that's sad? Yes. What's your name? You can tell us. What's your name? The sad boy on the school mm, bus. I heard a kid's voice. Parents. Alex. Alex, Alex, thank you. Well, Alex. I like music. What's your favorite instrument, Alex? Rock and roll. Oh, you like rock and roll. You probably like... No doubt. You probably like electric guitar, drums maybe. Where else do you like to hang out here other than the school bus? Is there another spot, Alex? Yes. Where? Left. Okay. Maybe Where? Is, would it be the haunted house you like to go to? Or by the... Toys. Yeah. So, Alex, I'm going to go back to you again. Love toys. You love toys. It's where else do you like to go other than the bus when you're here playing? And you can make believe fun. That sounds like fun. And you can play with any of these toys we have laying out. If you want to touch these these lights, they don't hurt miss you. Miss you or miss my. 
my mommy. So that's your parents again you were talking about on the bus? No. No? Okay, Alex, I'm going to ask. people. Alex. Killed them. Okay, who, who killed who? Who's the bad person you're talking about, if there is one? The comedian. The comedian, okay. Drive. Okay, everything seems to be like on the bus. Go ahead, do it. Ferris. Kids by the... across. Are there any adults here? Any adults? Four. Four, okay. Can you give me what? the... Can you give me the name of one of the four adults? They scare me. That's okay. We're here to protect you, but... Can you give us the name of any of the adults? What's Howard. It? Howard? Anyway, 10 months. Come play. Okay, where do you want us to come play with you? Mysterious. Okay, am I still talking? By the boat. Okay, by Clown. the boat. That's what I was wondering when you were saying. Okay. Am I still talking to Alex? By the swing. Alex? Okay, it sounds like it's Alex, and you do like to go by the swing. Do you want to... I'm different. It's okay. A lot of us are different. Help her. Investigate it. Huh. What was left? Okay, who, who's the her? What's her name? Celio? Celia or Celio. They're going to. Okay. Jessica. Or Jessica. Okay. Or maybe it's... I feel weird, man. Okay. I feel like somebody's... So, let's go back to thinking of kids. It's real. Uh, yep, I know it is. But Alex, maybe Celia, um, Jessica, are you over by the swings? They won't let me come Come something. Okay. It's crazy. They won't let me come. Okay. Stand up. I am standing up now. I was sitting down. Much better. Yeah, I do feel better. Thank you. But put on some. Can you tell us again? Prison. I'll get you soon. Okay. Alex, if I'm still talking to you, and you maybe not have, me. Hmm. Who who is it then? Who's been talking other than Alex? You can say it. Brown, I just heard. Julia! Julia. Is Julia? It could have been Jessica again. I don't know. Jessica, okay. So where are Christian you? Christian marker. Okay, where are you guys? Hi. Hi. Where are you guys at right now? In the park. Where are you? Maybe we can come over and say hi. Outside. Sitting in the... Yeah, we're outside, sitting in, well, where? So we know where you're at. They can hear you. Or we can hear you, so. Okay. The, oh, I that, feel what? creepy. Just, I feel like there's something right okay. next to me. Some kind of a... Ooh, I get a I charge all of a sudden. I don't know what's happening here, but... Here. Oh, I'm, what? like, really cold all of a sudden, man. What the heck? Okay. Bite me. I'm eight years. Okay, are you, are you happy here? Sometimes. Okay. What makes Possibly. you? Possibly. What makes you the happiest here when you're happy? 
Cherries. Cherries, okay. That would be in the sunlight. summertime. And sunlight? Murder. Oh, boy. Something happened. Yeah. Really going down that path. I'm I'm trying not to go down that path. But if you need to tell me like you're thinking there was a murder here? Who was murdered? I've got a feeling. Cuz I we understood everything here was, you know, a good thing. But we do have a lot of Native Americans here. And it might be related Rejection. to Rejection. Are you... The guy's bad. Hmm, okay. Oh, I feel cold right when I said that. I don't know if yeah. you feel that. Big burst. Oh. We could be dealing don't with... Don't like it. We him. Could, we could be dealing with a Native American that had some abuse at someone's hands. He's from Michigan. Okay. Was he, by chance, in the military? Come over. Okay. We're kind of all over the board, but again, the guy from Michigan, is he in the military? We can go anywhere. Yes, I understand you're not bound here, and I'm glad you understand that. Paris, Panama. Mm-hmm. So those are some of your favorite places. Ask me anything. It's me and something. Okay, once again, then, let's find out who am I talking to? What's your name again? Who am I talking to now? I think Alex. Jeffrey. Jeff, okay. Jeffrey, then Jeffrey, that's my name. Jeffrey, are you one of the adults here or are you a child? Oh, I just heard a really creepy shh. Hmm. Like that. Oh, that freaked me out. Could you have been a teacher or are you someone who. 19. 19, okay. Hmm. Do you watch over the, the kids that are here? Would you say you're a good or a bad person? They're beautiful. Just go past me. Okay, so Jeffrey, I'm going to have you step aside. Can Alex. I... Alex, okay. Alex is back. Okay, Alex. Alex, where do you like to, to hang out the most in the park here that makes you happy? Maybe we can come and visit you there if you go 12. there. Twelve. By the lights. By the lights, okay. There's a lot. It's of... comfier. Okay. Do you like the lights on the swings or on the... Radical. Or the Ferris wheel? Which lights okay. do you like? I'm starting to get dizzy, man. Huh, okay. Anything? You know, it always makes more sense. I heard the name Alex twice. Yeah, yeah, it always makes more sense when you listen back to it, you know. But yeah, that. And I heard, um, bus. And then, yeah, you what had was the other thing? Definitely you had a lot of connections to the bus. And coming back to the bus. Any of the devices go off? None of the devices went off. Interesting. Uh oh. Well, Alex, or whoever we just talked to. Um, you had an Alex and a Jessica and a Jeffrey. We'll come over to the bus really quick and then we're going to go to the amusement park, okay? And yeah, I heard Jeffrey, but... Yeah. It was like Jeffrey. It's like yeah. a man's voice. Okay. Well, now that's why I asked if you, if you were one of the adults. Fuck yeah. I don't know, but I got... What it, that was really creepy was the... Shh. Yeah, that's why I asked. It was like somebody it. like in my ear. That's why I asked about Jeffrey, right? If he was like, Weird. and then you said 19. Like, okay. he's an adult. That's kind of creepy. I'm gonna go, um, I wanna put a piece of wood on the fire. Yeah, here we go. You just wanna keep this, uh... So we did the Estes session, and it was clear that someone wanted us to come to the bus. So Colin and I got up and walked over there and as we were going there, it just felt creepy going there through the surroundings. It was dark, cold again. And as we got to the bus, the bus itself had a really eerie vibe to it. And uh, we just hopped on, sat down, and just kinda got a good idea what was coming, I felt. 
kind of in my bones that something was there. Here we are at the school bus again. Didn't think we'd be back so soon. Yeah. We didn't need that, to film yet. Did you hear that same? <laughs> there was like a same kind of like that sound. Weird. Maybe you'll pick it up on camera. Just remember when I'm saying this, like go back a minute and listen forward. Okay guys, we're coming on board. Alex, I think I understood you were in here with other kids. So we're here just to come up and have some fun. Do you want to sit in that chair? Sure. Do you want to oh, 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 hey. oh, shit. Okay. And the, the triangle. What was it? What, what the was triangle, it? dude. Something just moved right next to the meter. There's something back there. That's what I said. Oh. Okay, what was that? It's al it's alerting on the red. Where? There's something standing right there. Oh, I've got chills. Alex? Dude, I got chills. I know. Oh. Alex, Alex, if that's you, we came oh. to talk to you. Finally. <laughs> Dude, it's it's oh. it's standing right there, whatever it is. Alex, can you walk towards us? I think it was just the fire popping. Oh, look at now with the blue. Oh, yep, blue. yep. That means nothing's touching it. Okay. That's weird. Right okay, when the yes. thing went off, uh -huh. something stood by it. Oh, 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 oh you're right still Right when there. I pointed at it. Okay, let's start. So, to explain what's happening right here, we just got onto the school bus, and then the REM pod back there immediately alerted, and we just got the prism device, which is a, it can be a yes, no, or it's a proximity meter. And you see where that, oh, right oh, there, there, right goes. there. Thank you so much, whoever's down there. Okay, so again, remember, Alex said she, like, would Alex be a boy or a girl? I feel like Alex would be What's a boy. What's the figure you felt like? That's what I was thinking. But yeah, just to finish, when that thing lights up red, that means that there's something, an EM field on that side of the device. So that means that somebody moved in front of that thing and the meter went off. So, yeah, and let's the rem, see. The REM pod went off. Yeah, the REM pod. So, okay, so once again, when we were out there talking, you know, on the Estes, Alex kept coming in and said, hangs out on the bus with a lot of other kids. Yeah. Right? Makes sense, a school bus. Yep. So, I mean, that's where I also asked, I believe, like where he's maybe happy. And as one of the places, and he said the school bus. Well, it does make sense, too. Oh, okay, well, oh, on the oh, other side. What it's the on heck? the other side. Do you it's see completely, it? It's out. Yeah, no, it's on the other side. Okay. It's the green is illuminated. So somebody's oh. standing there. It looks like they just came in. Okay. It, it, I feel like there's something towards. Oh, oh wow, just it just have, walked towards I us. I have just a, again, a chill. Like, again, I'm feeling, I hate yeah. to say it charged again, but that's, oh, yeah. that's what I'm feeling. I mean, dude, that thing literally went from green to red, which meant that it just walked over <sighs> towards us. Thank you. Thank you. It makes sense so if there are children's spirits here, yeah. that they would congregate on a school bus because yeah. while they were alive, they knew what a school bus was and they rode something like this. Right. You know? Yeah. No, it's familiar. So yeah, my name's Colin, once again. And I'm Jeff. And, oh, oh. dude, the green again. There's something moving back there, dude. You're going to have it on that other camera, I think, too, right? Yeah. On that side. Yep. So I can see the green. No, no, blue. Okay. Yep. So we also have, for yeah. viewers of the channel, too, we just got this Scooby-Doo REM pod. So this is an actual awesome. REM pod. You can see these lights go off. The, the headlights go off. Yep. The tail lights. Yep. But hey, yeah, especially on the school bus. Hey kids, this is a pretty cool toy. So you can play with it. I'm gonna. Okay. I'm gonna bring this down here for you guys. Oh, that was not me. Yeah, yeah. That was not me. See, look at. I can't set that yeah. off. I step. Something walked right there, and the red is on again. Okay. Oh, what's Dude, that? It's the red. Somebody's standing right here. What's the sound? That means it's just detecting it. That's what okay. it sounds like? Yep. I didn't know that. Oh, oh, oh! oh. Okay, it's, it's there, right there. 
You can. What is that? Do you want to play with the, the Scooby Doo? The truck, the van is really fun if you want to touch that van and make it move. You can. Any kids that are here. To anybody who's in here, if you're a boy, you're a girl, whoever you are, if you see that little toy right there, if you've ever seen Scooby Doo, it's the mystery machine. That's a great show. You can go play with that thing. You can roll it on the ground towards us. If you play with it, we'll know that you're here. So, Alex, if you're here, can you turn that blue light? Can you turn that red? Can you just use your energy and, and, and turn it red for us to let us know you're here? All you have to do is step towards the toy and it'll show us that you're with us and answer our questions. Oh, okay. Thank you. Thank you. It's on the other side yeah. now. Yeah. Do you want to come back towards us now? And let us know that it's you, or any any of you. Oh, yeah, keep coming. We're we're completely friendly. None of this stuff is gonna hurt you either. Do you want to do the DR sixty? Sure. Okay, bust it out. Okay, here we go. Just put these out here too so they can play with them as well. Sure. We'll just set them on the same. Just it doesn't matter. They can come close to us. What the heck? Okay. These are brand new okay. Brand new balls. What the hell? Dude. These are brand new. I actually just got a whole pack of them. What's the deal? They were working when I left home. I turned the light off? Dude, all of them are dead. The brand new balls. They were all working fine, honestly. Every single one of them. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. How many do you have? Three? I have four. Four, and they're all, all of them are dead. dead. Now, I know people, you know, cat balls are cat balls, but still, these are these are actually brand new. Now you can see how new they are. I got brand new ones, and I had them at home, and I checked each one of them when I got them, make sure they all worked, and every one of these are dead. We're gonna have to check all the other ones. Do you want to go grab the other one? Jeez. Oh, I'll leave these here. I'll let you do your thing. Wow. How is that possible? Oh. Yeah. Well, right when you asked how it's possible, it's like okay. me. Did you guys take the energy out of those balls? That's okay if you did. Step forward if you would and, and touch one of those antennas. Oh. Okay, I'm going to go grab more some more balls. If you want more toys, can you play with one of those that's right there? Alex, if you're here, can you turn that blue light red? Now, if you would, please. I'll give you a count of five, like a game. Okay, when I count down from five, turn that blue light to red if it's you, Alex. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh. Alex, thank you. Thank you so much, Alex. Thank you, Alex. It he hasn't turned red forever. He likes that toy. So, Alex, thank you for doing that. If you have other... Okay. If there's other children with you, Alex, again, we're going to play a game again. This time I'm going to only count down from three. And I want you to touch that light, blue light, and make it go red again, okay? Here we go. Three, two, one. Please turn it red. If there's more kids here. 
Okay, there may not be any more kids here. Can you turn it red if it's just you in here, Alex? Is there an adult in here with you? Can you make that light red if it's, if there's an adult in here? You know, I all of a sudden when you said that, I got kind of a feeling like when you were doing the Estes method, I didn't want to go down a darker path, but there was definitely a mean person. Really? Mm-hmm, that you said. And that's why I asked about an adult, and when you went, shh. Mm. Yeah, and it was on the bus. Oh. And that's what Dude, I'm feeling I now. I kind of feel Whoa. something like that, too. See, I'm feeling there's an energy here that's... Again, it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad, evil energy, right? But you can still have bad energies. Yeah, it's almost it's not, like... not demonic or anything like no. that. I'm just saying like a bad person. It feels like... Almost like the shh. That's be I, like a bus driver that was really mean or something like that. Very you know? true, man. A kid would be scared of a person like hey, that. Hey, a bus driver. Maybe it was Jeffrey, the bus driver. Right. And then Alex is, is on here with him. Is that true, Alex? Alex, it's okay if it's I you. I just heard footsteps outside. Did you? I think we should do the DMP or 60. Yeah. Do you want to grab the cap off? Do you want me to? Or what? That'd be kind of cool. How do I get out of here? You got to give me some light here. Oh, jeez. Is that you? <laughs> Oh, 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 I had a cramp in my oh, foot. Shit. Jesus. Oh. Okay, I'll be right back. Anything happen? No. Silence. Here we go. Thank you. Yep. I gotta just get by this thing again. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Okay. How do we... How's it, uh... First of all, you know, We've got our older Ovilus 4, okay? Just we're gonna try that a little bit. But here's the here's the brand new cat balls. Now, I do have, for, for whatever reason, I got some ping pong balls. <laughs> oh, oh, right when, you, right when you red. came back hey. on, it turned red again. It's like it likes wow. you, dude. Okay, Maybe you know what? you're his dad. I'm gonna, you know what's weird? Welcome back. You know what's kind of weird is when you say that dad, it's like coming up when you said Jeffrey. Like, you know, is that weird. me or what, you know? <laughs> I'm gonna go, I think, well, first of all, here, let me just set these down and show you. This is a brand new bag of cat balls. Took them out of the, the individual three packs and put them in here. Okay, I don't, this is bizarre, dude. How is that possible? Every single cat ball is dead. Okay, now keep in mind, I drove here. Yeah. I didn't go on an air, I didn't fly. Here's two. Okay, I'll be damned. <sighs> that is bizarre. Okay, these are all, it's a whole brand new. Individual packs. And they're all dead? Every one of them's dead. All these, these are all brand new. That's never That's, happened before. I mean, oh, this. Oh, oh. Yep. You coming? You're gonna come out and talk to us? Were you the one that maybe just for fun drained all these these cat balls? They're called these toys that lit up. Was that you? You did it as a joke, maybe. Okay, Colin. So. Oh, what? Something just dripped on my face. What? The f I don't see a single hole on the ceiling. What the? F <laughs> something just dripped on my face. I think something likes you, man. That was what weird. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing that could have dripped up there. The f Look at this. <laughs> it's a solid ceiling. What the? 
It's a weird it's like vibes a total in here. Drop. Like, is there anything the... on your face? Can you? I, I. I can't. Here, let me. No, I don't see anything on you. It dropped right here, right here, right here, and it went down on my lip like this. Well, there's. It's solid ceiling. Dry too. The f that's f weird, man. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so like we've been saying, everybody, we have a DR60. This is like the holy grail of paranormal equipment. Thank you to everybody who helped purchase this for the channel. We're so excited to start using this. This will be our first official investigation using the DR60. And this is interesting. This is actually, if you take a look kind of up close at it, I don't know if you're able to see it, but this is a Japanese, this is a Japanese DR60. So it's different than the American in some ways. But if there's anybody in here, Alex, even if you're a bus driver, Jeffrey, or if you're another child, we just want to talk to you. And like I said before, we have some toys that we can give to you that we're going to play, you know, with. Those toys over there, you can go touch and play with at any time. But all you have to do right now is say something to us. Use your voice. So I'm going to record. Set that right there. Can you tell me your name, please? Was that you that just turned that light to red? Do you like the school bus? If you're on the school bus with us now, tell us what your any, any of you, what's your name? Give us a name that someone that's here. How many people are here or kids? Can you tell us what your favorite ride or area of the amusement park is? Do you like swimming? Dude, something just ran across the fucking floor. Did you see that? No. Okay, but the device went off. Right after that. Right? Bro, what the f man? Like what? What do you mean? Something just ran I think it was like a mouse or some shit. Okay. Yeah, it just darted across the floor. Jesus. Battery just died? What, what? the f Wait a second, now it's on. Wait, it's off. The battery's exhausted. The battery just died. Okay, now this is our actual... Oh! The battery died. That battery should not have just died. It had like 48% wow. when I handed it to you. And you didn't even see it like flashing. Usually no, it flashes like just, low battery. Just, it said the, the battery went. Which again... You could see. So now what? Let's just listen to this. Seven. Tell us what your favorite ride 
Come back. Do you like this? Okay. Yeah. Let's do one more. Yeah, I think we should do a little more. Okay. Sucks that the camera just died. You know. Okay. We're gonna go to another part of the amusement park. But if there is somebody in here, can you answer a couple questions for us? I have a question. Is there a bad man here on the school bus? I just heard like a kid's voice. Hmm. Did you? Hmm. Okay, when I was talking to Colin on the Estes over there, Alex, you said you were on the bus here, is where you liked it. Can you just say your name into this device? Say your name, Alex, so we know it's you. Do you like it here at the park? What animal is that? That's a, that's a goose. <laughs> I think it's a Canadian goose. Sounds like a... Okay, sound like a kid's voice. Before that, I mean, it's like before I started talking. Yeah. Was there something there? It's like a... Eh. Yeah, look. What's, what's before oh, me? I don't know. Can you just say your name into this device? Say your name, Alex. Let me know what you. Do you like it here at the park? Do you like it here at the park? Do you like it here at the park? There is a kid's voice though on that. Yeah, it sounds like a, eh, like something like that. Well, this battery is about to die, so we got to wrap it up okay. in here. Okay. Something in here is killing our batteries. Yeah. How much? I can't believe these. The where, where'd those go? All those. Uh, I can't believe those cat balls are all dead. I didn't even make the connection that the cat balls died. The camera died. Camera now died. Now my videos. This camera's about to die. Okay. Where Thank you to whoever's in here. And where did all those balls go? They're right there. Okay. The bus was absolutely crazy. There was so much activity. It seemed like somebody was there and really was trying to talk to us. And so we wanted to keep that energy rolling and, and keep the ball rolling to see if we could actually make some sort of substantial contact with the spirits of Lake Shawnee. But before we moved on to the amusement park, we had been shown videos earlier that night of a pinwheel that's attached to one of the buildings moving violently on its own. I mean, this thing was going absolutely crazy with no wind, which to me looked very paranormal. So while we were near the bus, before we headed over to the park area, we decided let's go see if the pinwheel can spin for us tonight. Here's this pinwheel. Huh? <laughs> so do we know the story of the pinwheel? 
like you saw in that little mini tour clip earlier, this area is, if you look right over here, this Hard is the see. cement swimming pond pool area. There were multiple drownings in there. A kid even fell and shattered their skull and they died from that injury just outside of the pond and then multiple drownings. He even told us a story of a family that brought their toddler swimming here and while they were swimming, the toddler disappeared under the water and a minute or two later, they were oh, waiting. Oh, the pinwheel just moved. It's, it's moving. dead. It oh. uh, no, it's I see moving. It. Do you see it? Yeah. Okay, it's rocking. There's literally zero wind. Mm -mm. None. They were wading through the water and they bumped into their toddler's dead body. And that's how they discovered their child had died. But this area, oh Jesus, <laughs> goose. This that. area also, a man came to the property um, out of nowhere. He was a psychic medium and he walked into this room and he literally was, as he described it, the owner, he was thrown, tossed out of the room. And he said, there's something that doesn't want me in there. So there's a very strong energy right here. And this pinwheel is known to move by itself. I don't know what the hell's well, it wasn't, up with this. It goose. wasn't moving today, but earlier today he showed us. He was showing film. us videos earlier. Yeah, but yeah. it was going like, like a freaking propeller on an aircraft. Mm -hmm. There's no wind at all. Yeah. If there's somebody here near the cement pond, maybe you're a child who died by drowning or in an accident, or you're somebody else. Can you please move that pinwheel? Okay, we're here to, to kind of communicate with you and just, you know, you can let us know that you're here. Oh, Thank you. You look like you moved that pinwheel a little bit. Can you move that pinwheel if you're here with us? Show me how you can move that, please. Oh, it's moving. Did you see that? It's moving right now. Uh -huh. Very slightly. Uh -huh. Yeah, can you move it a little bit harder? Oh, it's moving. Oh, I've got, I've got like some chills again here. Thank you. Can you spin that, please? Oh, God. Yes. Oh, I'm feeling like. <sighs> Almost. Oh, that really moved there. Mm -hmm. Almost. Yeah, try to move it just a little more for us. It's yeah. really bizarre. It's, it's just because there's nothing. There's literally, you can look over here at anything any of these there's like zero zero movement there's just no look at this whatsoever. look at this grass thank you keep moving really show us you can spin that I know you can Make it turn around for us. So this is the Ovulus 4. This is a device highly sought after in the paranormal community because they don't make these anymore. You can also talk to us. We have this little toy that we can hear your voice with. Bled? Bled? M. M. No. No. Bled? Bled. Like hitting your head on the... Hitting your head. On the concrete? M and no. Can you tell us something about yourself? I just heard something. Yeah, I heard a click or something. Are you inside of this little shed? You can still move that pinwheel. Show us you're here. You know, but look, that thing is completely still right now. Mm -hmm. Right? I mean, look at look at how still it is. Not even a hint of movement. I mean, that is weird. You know, really. I think we had you playing with that pinwheel here. So, in this device Colin has, can you tell us your name? It's moving. Older. 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 Okay. So, are okay. you an adult? Well, maybe this assume, isn't a kid. Assume you are an adult, okay? But again, so what is your name? You're the pinwheel. Hmm? You're the pinwheel. 
I'm moving ever so slightly here. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. Okay, maybe you're older moving the pinwheel. That's fine. Show us that you're older and you can move that pinwheel all the way around. Can you do it? That's about as much as it's done. Thank you. Yeah, spin it. It looks like you're really going to do it. Oh, I got some energy, man, on my legs. Spin that. You can do it. Thank you so much for doing We're that. We're watching you, and it looks like you're older. I think you just started, started spinning like crazy. It freaked me out. <laughs> I wish it you know, I, you know, I really I wish know, it would. I know. I believe that you could do that. We're here to support you. That thing is just still though, Colin, again. I know. It's like, I don't, I think it's an adult. I think that's why it's just like rock solid still now. God, that thing is so fucking loud. We're gonna move on. We're gonna walk to a different place here at the park. Before we go, can you show us a trick? There it went, Colin. Yeah, just like that, all the way. Yeah. We're gonna leave if you don't do it. Boy, you're really trying. I can see you're trying. Push really hard. You can take some of our energy. That is weird that right when we said we were yeah. gonna go, it yeah. started yeah. moving the strongest. I don't know if that's paranormal or not, but yeah. that is one of the main stories of this area is this yeah. pinwheel moving. Right. What the fuck is this shit? A, a goose party? It's a gander pole. <laughs> Remember? Dude, what the hell? Yeah. There's like so many of we're yeah. trying to investigate right here I outside. Know, I don't know if maybe um <laughs> oh, just took off. Tom. What? Jesus. Oh. Right Should we go? I think I scared them off. Jesus, they're coming down. Oh, right here. A ton of them. Oh, shit, there they are. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I actually scared them off. You did. <laughs> I didn't you see did. that. You scared the whole... I literally was like... Shit, I didn't expect that to work. Right, well, that was weird. <laughs> okay, heat and then amusement park. Oh. <laughs> Damn, that feels good. Did you say my little hood? Yeah. <laughs> if you can't tell, Jeff is freezing cold. I'm a little old guy. <laughs> I'm cold. I mean, this does... Oh, Jesus. This does feel amazing, though. I won't lie. It's... I'd actually go sit in there if I could. <laughs> Good luck with that. Can you just like hook that up to you and just you pull it with us? Just like a plow? I know, like a horse nice. plow? It's really cold out. I gotta get the SLS. So right now, we've investigated the school bus, the pinwheel area. We did the, the Estes in here. And for the first time tonight, we're heading to the amusement park part of Lake Shawnee. We're gonna investigate that area. Then we're gonna head to the Evil Trail to find the Resting place of two murder victims, three murder victims actually. You ready? Let's go. <laughs> You're like, yeah, let's, get to, let's go, man. So at this point in the night, it was like freezing cold out, but we knew that I guess the spirits were talking, it felt like, or they were calling us over to the amusement park and we knew we had to go there. And as I said, it was absolutely freezing cold out, uh, but this is where we ended up heading to the amusement park. And I just kind of felt like all the children that had passed, the spirits there, really wanted to talk to us at that point. And it was just something we had to go do. Here's the Ferris wheel. You can barely see it on this camera. Okay guys, so we're here right now. Here's the swing behind us where the little girl died. The infamous Ferris wheel. Is right back there. We've got a static camera right there. Papa Spooks is rolling on the IR. He's got the hood up because it's freezing it's cold. cold. Yeah. And we've got one, two, three, four REM pods, and then a REM pod jump rope. 
set up around the swings so if there is a spirit here with us we'll be able to see that they're here so to anybody out here we come with the best intentions we come honestly with peace and love in our hearts if there are any kids here I'm here with my dad and we're not scared we just want to talk and figure out who you are we, we were talking to Alex over there on the school bus maybe about someone named Jeffrey there was also a Jessica I believe there was also a Jessica I believe there was also a Jessica I believe so if you are out here just come and speak with us. We're friendly. This is my dad, Jeff. My name's Colin. I, I'm Jeff, as you just said. <laughs> we have some little toys set up. If you've ever seen Scooby-Doo, the TV show, here's a little car from the show. You can come touch it, and it'll light up. There's also these here, like with the red light. Same thing. All you have to do is come around it. Either side, it will make it go off like that. Doesn't hurt you. Go ahead and try it. You can give it a try. It actually feels about like 30 degrees colder than it actually is. Yeah. I'm not sure why, if it's because of the moisture. It's freezing. It's just cold. <gasps> what was that? Scooby-Doo. Really? I thought I heard something. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. I've never seen it go off. Me either. Thank you. Yeah, you like the mystery machine? Is that your favorite? Wow, that's, that's, that's never going on. That's cool. Oh, oh, what the heck? Is the front flashing? Oh, I don't see it. Yeah, the front. The front. Let me see. Let me the see. front. The front. Wow. You like that one? You can see it flashing. So you like Scooby Doo? You can play with it. Yeah. That looks like your favorite. It's the first REM activity we've yeah. done like all yeah. night. Mm -hmm. Wow. And this is a fresh battery. Do you want to touch the other ones too? You want to try the ones that are red? That's crazy. Dude, that yellow ball is moving on the swing. You see that? Right here. It is kind of. Oh. That's moving. Are you moving this ball? God, Dude, I can't believe this thing. Jeez. And how it's weird. Crazy. How weird that I just told them if you like Scooby Doo, you can play with this one specifically. And right. that's the one that's going off. Right. That's. And it's like going off. Yeah. I think they hopped inside. Look at the backs. The back, I think. Or no, maybe I'm seeing a reflection of the red. It's also interesting that the Scooby Doo REM pod is the only one that actually looks like a toy. True. Because it is an actual Playmobil toy. And this whole area is filled with toys. You know? Look at all the stuff that's on the seats. It's dolls and toys. Can you stop playing with that car for a second? Is that a cat ball right there? Yeah. What the hell? That's not ours. Weird. Now if that one works, I'm gonna freaking... Oh. <laughs> Are you f***ing kidding? <laughs> Look at that. That one works. It's been sitting out here for who knows how long. I have 10 new ones and not one of them works. That is oh bizarre, Oh my man. god, I'm gonna put this back up here. This is supposed to be the swing, isn't it? 
Yep. This is the one. That's weird too though that... <laughs> that shows that the spirits know what cat balls are. Is that crazy? Because they've been here before, the exact model, you know? Yeah, exactly. Wow, that thing is going crazy. I mean, can you believe that though, that that cat ball's probably been sitting there forever? Right? Uh -huh. And I have 10 new ones and they're all gone. I'm gonna try. Oh, there it went off. It just oh, went geez, off. Look at, that. look at that thing. I can't believe this thing is going off so heavily. Okay, there's definitely some activity here. Yeah. No question. If you're here with us, can you go up and touch one of our other toys too? We just want to play any of oh, the lights. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's the haunted seat too. Yeah, this is that the haunted the girl seat. died yep, on. This is the one that she died on. Wow, look at that. And it wasn't going off on the ground either. No, no. But it as was soon as on. I, as soon as I put that on, on the seat. Wow, that's pretty crazy to think about it. Yeah. I pick it up, it goes off. Right. Okay, we have this toy right here in my hands. And by using this and playing with us, we can hear your voice and what you have to say. So, can you tell us who you are? Is this a ball? I mean, honestly. Harry. 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 I asked who it was. Harry. Okay, Harry. Harry. Good to have you here, Harry. Oh, and that just went off again right when it said that. So, Harry. Harry, can you tell us how old you are? I think you like that Scooby-Doo toy we brought you, Harry, don't you? That's so weird. I just, I, oh, oh, I just reset that, too. Yeah. You like that one. It really likes that one. Breath. Breath. Oh, I was just thinking about your breath on camera. Weird. Uh, weird. That's kind of weird, you know. Our breath is pretty obvious right now. It might even be a kid saying, like, oh. I can see my breath, you know? Hmm. Can you tell us what that is right there that I'm pointing at that you've been playing with? Is that a car? What was that? It's the Scooby-Doo. Oh, where is the front? Paranormal. Paranormal. What? Look at the... Right Scooby when I talked about it, too. Okay, so you like playing with that car. Can you tell us how old you are? Or tell us, describe that thing? Is it a toy? Is it a car? Yeah, I moved it and reset it and everything. And also... Really, let's not miss the point of this damn cat ball. I know. I mean, 10 cat balls new are gone. That one's laying on the damn ground here at the swing. I pick it up and I set it on here and it goes off like what, three or four or five times now? Yep. <laughs> and this Scooby-Doo has this, not gone off for once. Not once until we came over here. Can you tell us something about yourself, Harry? Edna. Oh, Edna? Edna. Okay, well, there's, kid, there's a lot of kids yeah, here. Yeah, Harry and Edna. Harry and Edna. Um, Harry and Edna, are you guys related? Uh, like how? How are you related? Like friends, brother, sister? Tell us how you're related. That's so weird how huh? it's just going off. Oh. Okay, that's, that's really eerie that this is the swing. Can I, should I move that to another swing? Or no? No. Okay. Oh, look at that thing. Right when you asked it, it's like, no. <laughs> I asked you if I should move you. You want, I'm, we're gonna leave it right here for you. Cart. It looks like you like it. Cart. Tell us something about cart. Cart. Maybe we were talking to them when I was doing the Estes in the cart. The, Ferris wheel cart. 
The cart, yeah. You know? Yeah. Right there is the Ferris wheel. That's what he was telling us about. The, right. They never have the cart out. Oh, that's true. They have it out but for like another look, week. Look at this thing. 16. 16. I just asked how old they are. Oh, you did? 16. Okay, I didn't hear you. Okay. Okay, so you're 16 years old? How did you end up here? Did you just really love this place? Or why are you still here? I, I just really would like to know because it seems like Alex, oh, there it goes again. Alex, team. team. You guys are a team? Edna and Harry. Yep, Edna and Harry. That's how you're related. They're more like a team. Yeah, not blood related. And 16. Uh -huh. They're 16 year olds. You're a team, okay? Are you, is this your favorite place? Like in the park, what's the name of your favorite area in the park? Channel. Channel. A channel, like the, the water channel that connects the two places. Yeah. You know, they're connected. Yeah. The right. spring over to the swimming, the cement line swimming pool area. What's your favorite part of the channel? Is it because it's pretty or do you swim there? Stroke. stroke. Like doing the stroke yeah. Yeah. in the yeah, water. Yeah, exactly. Literally swimming. Interesting. Like yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Dude, that points to a drowning victim. Oh, it? true, true, true. Like it does, right. The yeah. water related words. Yeah. Breast stroke, mm -hmm. the stroke, yeah. channel. Did you drown? I hate to ask you that, but we really want to know. Did you drown? In the water? Again, we're not trying to just fish for everything, but you're trying to make sense of it. Yeah. You know? Can I ask? One more time. What happened to you here in this area? Like, why are you still here? Did you get hurt? It's so quiet around well, here. It's like the, the, eerily still. So the other thing I was going to say as well is that that cat ball hasn't gone off no. Yeah, right. It's, I mean, it's just dead, it's silent. So it's is not the, faulty. So, so is the REM pod. Mm-hmm. We've moved away from there though too. Yep. You know? Yeah. If you think about it. Yeah. Young. 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 What happened to you, young? So you were young when this happened to you? We'll walk over here. Did an accident happen? Did you get hurt on these swings? Or in the water? Or did somebody do something to you that was bad? God, this is so Closer. Closer. It's weird that we're walking around, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like you're getting closer. Okay, we're getting closer. What are we getting closer to? Stay. 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 Right when we're talking yeah. about needing to yeah. leave for a second. What do, you, what do you think about the DR60 here? I think we should do it. I've got it. So, okay, you want us to stay? What do you want to do? Do you want to like swing or play or run? Tired. Tired. Okay, well. Well, we'll try something that's maybe yeah. easier. Yeah. We have another toy.
So as you know, here on the channel, every single week we give away a free gift bag to one viewer of the show. It's very simple um, to enter this contest. All you have to do is like tonight's video. So go hit that like button, smash that like button. I really do wanna boost the likes on these videos. We need to work on that, everybody. And go comment in the comment section, I love Lake Shawnee. I'm gonna give you all 10 seconds to do it now. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you all for subscribing. Thank you all for watching and joining us on this paranormal journey. Um, as you know, likes, comments, subscriptions to the channel, all of that helps us grow and we wanna keep growing with the Spooky family. We want this thing to keep growing. We've had an amazing year so far and we wanna finish it out strong. So thank you all so much. I'm sorry, I'll, I'll stop bothering you now and uh, let's get back to the video. It was freezing cold out there. We had to build that bonfire because personally my fingers and my toes kept going numb. I mean, it was literally like 30, 28 degrees out, not to mention there was mist rolling off the lake, which was getting in my lungs. It's actually the end of the trip right now. My nose got so screwed up during that investigation that it is still um, been giving me problems the entire trip. We wanted to push it even farther. So we had investigated the bus, the pinwheel, the main area, the amusement park, but we wanted to go find the bodies of those kids who were murdered right there on that land. It seemed like maybe they were calling our names. They were telling us to come over and, and investigate that area that oftentimes gets ignored, apparently. So we started heading down the creepy trail and uh, the owner himself said he doesn't go down the creepy trail, he doesn't even mow it. This is the trail that leads from the amusement park to the graves. And uh, yeah, as you're about to see in the footage, that trail is definitely creepy. Before we continue the investigation, um, I just do wanna point out it's 2.45 a.m. right now. It is about 28 degrees. It's really, really cold. We keep having to take breaks to warm up because we didn't anticipate it was gonna be this cold. I wanna show you something that's important and integral to the story here. Now, remember, there were multiple drownings in the lake, an accident on the swings that killed a young girl, drownings in the cement pool over there, but something extremely compelling that I had no idea happened here can be found right in this direction. Look at this historical plaque. In this field in 1783, two children of Mitchell Clay were killed by Shawnee Indians. We were told the full story of what happened here earlier today, right here in this field, which is essentially where the Lake Shawnee amusement park area is. This mother, she had 16 children, was tending to nine of her kids inside of her home, which was right there. And she heard screaming, came outside and saw that these two indigenous Shawnee men were attacking her kids. They ended up killing two of the children and they took one of the kids hostage. There was a search party that went out. Eventually, the children's father found their son, or really what was left of him. The kid's name was Ezekiel. And when they found Ezekiel and the two Shawnee men that had taken him hostage, Ezekiel was being burned alive at the stake. They actually brought the two kids who were murdered here, they brought their bodies back and they're buried right down that direction, a couple hundred feet from here. And it's strange because Ezekiel is not listed on the grave marker, but he, according to history, is buried with his siblings in an unmarked grave. So, yeah, it's weird. You got murder in the story too. Isn't that, I had no idea. Yeah, and actually part of that story too is that when Ezekiel was being burned at the stake, they showed up and the chief actually intervened and gave them a stallion to bring Ezekiel back to bury him back here. Yeah, because he didn't agree with what the no, other guys had done. No, he didn't done. agree with what they did, so. Let's walk down this path a little bit. This path right here is what we were told is nicknamed the creepy path. The owner of the property, he literally told us he refuses to even come down here. He doesn't mow it, he doesn't come down this path, and this is what leads to the graves. And we haven't been down here either, so. Well, we said, well, why, why do you call it the creepy path? And he goes, well, when you go down, you'll see. So yeah. I, don't, I don't know what that means, but. <laughs> oh, just an average Wednesday night. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, what? 
What? You heard something? What'd you hear? Like metallic. Oh. Anyway. Okay. Creepy path is living up to its name. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. It sounds like footsteps right yeah. here. Uh-huh. Oh, what? 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 Holy shit, something jumped into the water right there. Jesus, man. Must be a goose. Do the graves are down here. You know, my coat and everything's going to be ripped from all these thorns. Oh, here it is. Yeah, dude. Look at this. God, looks like that thing you bought almost. In memory of Bartley and Tabitha Clay massacred by Shawnee Indians, 1783. Children of Mitchell and Phoebe Clay. First settlers of Mercer County. So they're buried right here. You got it. So you have victims of a massacre buried here. You have 3,000 indigenous people buried over there. My These f***ing geese, too. To the three children who are buried here, especially Ezekiel, we're coming with peace. We just want to talk, guys. If you can use your voice and speak with us, we would love to hear what you have to say. If you can hear us, we're so sorry about what happened to you. That was horrible. Can you tell us your name? <laughs> you don't have to wait that long. Do you like the amusement park that you can see from here? Can you tell us how old you are? Where are you at right now? Do you know Alex or any of the other kids who play in this area? Is there a group of kids that hangs out? There's something big moving around yeah. in the woods over there. It's like snapping branches. Yeah. If you're here, can you tell us your name? Do you like the amusement park that you can see from here? Can you tell us how old you are? Where are you at right now? Do you know Alex or any of the other kids who play in this area? Is there a group of kids that hangs out? Tell us what you miss doing when you were alive on Earth. Are you happy now or are you sad? How can we help you? Do you need help? There's a lot yeah. of responses there. Yeah, yeah, there. yeah, you have to really take some time. If you're here, can you tell us your name? Do you like the amusement park that you can see from here? Can you, can you tell us how old you are? Where are 60, you at right now? 69. Do you know Alex or any of the other kids who play in this area? Is there a group of kids that hangs out? Tell us what you miss doing when you were alive on Earth. Are you happy now or are you sad? How can we help you if you need help? You're gonna have to really listen. Yeah. Okay, you got a lot on there. Well, guys, it's uh, past three now, 
And my camera also, this is our third battery, is about to die. It's our last battery, so we're gonna head back to our hotel. Wow, that was kind of cool. Yeah. Actually. Well, thank you guys for yeah, talking to us. You. What the f is going off in here? You know, at the end of the night, we got done with this cold, uh, really bone chilling cold investigation. Uh, I felt it was just such a unique location. You don't really see that uh, anywhere I've been. And I just felt like there was a lot of energy there that was uh, sad. Um, you could tell there was, you know, had been a lot of death there. Obviously we knew that, but you could feel that. And I just felt like the cold and it was frost on the ground. It added all to the creepiness and to the vibe you felt as far as the spirits kind of wanting to really connect to us, which I felt they did. But overall, it was just a fascinating sight to have gone to visit, and I, I feel privileged I got to do it. So at the end of the day, Lake Shawnee was one of my favorite places that I've ever investigated. Not only was it so large, but there's so much history there. There's so much to explore, and sadly, there's, there's a deep, deep history of death and sadness that goes along with, with what happened there. But we still didn't really know at the end of the night who we were talking to. I mean, it could have been so many different people. It seemed like for a while it was a child that had come through that wanted us to come play on the bus with them. And then at the amusement park, it once again seemed like a kid of some sort. Um, maybe it was the girl who died in the swing accident, but the Scooby-Doo REM pod I've never seen light up like that. I've played with it myself just at home and, and tinkered around with it on different investigations behind the scenes, but it's never lit up like that. So somebody out there really did want to play with the toy. I would definitely tell you that that place is haunted. It did not disappoint. And I thoroughly enjoyed my time at Lake Shawnee. I, I would love to go back. Maybe if it was a, a little warmer and less cold and damp. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, this was only night one of our investigation series here, so we knew we had a long way to go, but at the end of the day, the spirits out of Lake Shawnee, they're still there. And if you head out to that area, I'm sure that they'll talk to you too. It's Colin here. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, stay spooky. So at the end of the, the trip in West Virginia, there was so many unique locations we did. Uh, this particular trip had really such a, a variety of locations. It was so interesting for me. And again, you're always learning about new, new things, new places, new history. That never ceases to amaze me. Uh, from Shawnee, the amusement park. I mean, I've never been to a place like that. The Haunted Museum with all these uh, objects. The prison, massive prison, very famous. Uh, we have a hospital in a small town in West Virginia that had a lot of activity to it. And ultimately, Mothman. I mean, it's almost like a like Superman or something like that to me. I, was, I felt we were going to investigate. And so I just kind of felt like, you know, West Virginia, I've never been to this state. And I've been all, I think there's only maybe two states besides West Virginia I've not been to, so I'm really glad I got to come here for that reason. Beautiful state, people are super friendly, and I think being with Colin, obviously, that makes it extra special. I get to experience that with him as well. But I felt like we got so much activity this trip compared to other trips, it seems like, with these different locations that I think we're getting a little bit more in tune with really what we feel, and I think Working with Colin more, it's, I think, translated into getting more responses on devices or how we feel. I think we've opened up more and more as we've grown into this. And I felt that probably here more than I have about any location we've been to to date. And I just, you know, again, I'm thankful I get to do this for fun. I thank all of you guys for supporting the channel the nice things you say about me. Some not always nice, but most most nice. Uh, but ultimately the trip was really another one for the books that I learned a lot more. I got to see new places, meet new people. And it's just a win-win 
for me all around. So over the last few weeks, we've really explored every aspect of haunted West Virginia. I mean, we, we almost did it all. We did a penitentiary, we did a hospital, we did the Mothman, a cryptid, a paranormal vortex, we did a haunted museum, we even did an abandoned haunted amusement park. Next time we come back to West Virginia, we definitely want to hit Trans-Allegheny Lunatic Asylum. We also want to do, there's a, there's a lot of locations and places here to visit, but yeah, we had a blast in West Virginia, guys. This was such a fun video series to film. It's a beautiful state. We met some absolutely amazing people, but as always, the spookiness doesn't end here. It only gets stronger and stronger and bigger and badder as, as the days, the weeks, the years roll on. But from the bottom of my heart, guys, I just wanna express to you all how thankful I am and how much gratitude I have to have all of you amazing souls out there watching every week. You guys have really made my dreams come true. You are the reason why we're here. And as one big spooky family, it really makes me happy and it helps me sleep better at night knowing that I have all of you out there on the other side of this camera. I know it doesn't feel like it because here I am just sitting and talking to a camera for hours on end, but um, yeah, you guys know that I love y'all so much and we're working our butts off to try get you the best investigations and the best videos we possibly can. But yeah, we got new cameras, tons of new gear for the series. I hope you guys noticed all of that. Thank you for allowing us to uh, make that happen. But at the end of the day, even though the, the chapter is closed on West Virginia, that just means that there's another book on the horizon. I think it's time to uh, open it up and start reading. Yeah, I was trying to be prophetic or say something cool there, but <laughs> I don't think it worked. But yeah, you know what I mean. It's never the end. It's only the very beginning. But I love you all so much. Once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support and love. I hope you enjoyed this series. And uh, from here, our final night in West Virginia, I don't know where the hell I am now or what I'm doing, but hey, future Colin, if you're watching, <laughs> and hey to everybody else in the future, um, I love you all, stay spooky, and uh, we'll see you next time. Hello! <laughs>